Okay, now let us look at question 3. Uh, the root mean square speed of hydrogen molecules okay, at a particular temperature is 1330 meter per second. What is the root mean square speed of nitrogen molecules at the same temperature? Okay, so we have two different gas here. First is the hydrogen, the second one is the nitrogen. Two different gas. And the molar mass of both gases are given. Okay, and gram per mole, they are not in SI unit. You have to change to SI unit. Okay, so what information we have? First of all, we have the, okay, uh, the, okay, the first one is the hydrogen gas. This is the hydrogen gas. Uh, okay, the second one is the nitrogen gas. Just put as nitrogen. Uh, and then the hydrogen, uh, I put the hydrogen as number one. So this one be this is the root mean square, root mean square uh, velocity for hydrogen. Uh, v, VRMS one, and then for nitrogen, yes, he asked for uh, VRMS two, which is the root mean square, root mean square velocity for nitrogen. Yeah, I need to find this one. Uh, the temperature is the same, so they have the same temperature. Yeah, this is the T one, okay, and this is the T two. So they at the same temperature. Okay, uh, T one equal to T two, same temperature, right? So given the molar mass of both, so we have a uh, hydrogen. Uh, so this one put as Mr one, and this one is Mr two. Nitrogen, molar mass for nitrogen, and they are in gram per mole. Uh, you must change to SI unit. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, whenever I have two different subjects, I always like to put in two different columns. Okay. So it looks systematic. Yeah, our work, and we can easily retrieve our data. So hydrogen I put as one, nitrogen I put as two. Uh, another one. So hydrogen is one. Nitrogen is 2. Okay, so we have the VRMS uh, 1 for hydrogen, 1330 meter per second, SI unit already. And then uh, we have the molar mass for hydrogen also, uh, MR1, which is uh, 2 gram per mole. Uh, you see that? Normally, molar mass, molar mass in the question always give in gram. Gram, yeah? Uh, molar mass always give in a unit of gram. You must change to kilogram. You must always change to SI unit, kilogram. So gram become kilogram is divided by 1000. Uh, divided by 1000 means exponent negative 3. Okay, exponent negative 3. Uh, kilogram. Okay. Uh, so change to kilogram per mole. Eh? From gram per mole, you must change to kilogram per mole. Only in SI unit. And then for nitrogen, uh, we must we want to find the VRMS2, okay, our target. And we have the molar mass for nitrogen, uh, which is also in gram per mole. Okay, you must change to kilogram per mole. Okay, before you uh, substitute into the equation. Before you substitute into equation, make sure already change to kilogram per mole. Uh, so uh, exponent negative divided by thousand also. Which divided by thousand means uh, exponent negative three, okay, kilogram per mole. So okay, temperature is the same. Temperature don't uh, doesn't change, yeah. Same temperature. So now, what information can we use? Okay, the information want to compare uh, the changes between uh, the root mean square velocity VRMS with the molar mass. Okay, with the molar mass. The molar mass changes. What happened to VRMS? Okay, provided temperature constant. So, the formula that relate the VRMS to the molar mass is this formula. Uh, VRMS equal to square root 3RT over molar mass. You see that? Between the VRMS and molar mass. So the question gives us molar mass. Molar mass. Uh, so I use the formula 3RT over molar mass. Actually, if uh, we have another formula, 
if you notice for vrms we have two formula we have the 3rt and also the 3kt uh, but which one we use which one we use uh, since the question gives us molar mass instead of mass of one molecule uh, we use this formula 3rt over molar mass because here the equation already have the molar mass so the the question asks for molar mass we use the formula with molar mass uh, if the question asks if the question give you the mass of one molecule uh, instead of molar mass the question give you mass of one molecule the small m and then we use the formula 3kt uh, but the question now give us the molar mass molar mass so we use the formula 3rt with the molar mass okay uh, we not, don't use this one we want to use this one also can if you want we still want insist want to use the 3kt over mass of one molecule also can uh, but you you first have to find the mass of one molecule how to find the mass of one molecule uh, which is we take the molar mass given okay take the molar mass given uh, divide by the Avogadro constant uh, the mass of one mole molar mass mass of one mole divide by the number of molecule in one mole uh, which is the molar mass divide by the uh, molar mass divide by the Avogadro constant uh, you will get the mass of one molecule uh, once you get the mass of one molecule you substitute here you still can use this formula 3kt over small m uh, to find the same value vrms but it's a um, more tedious because it become a two step two step uh, process i like the straight away use the molar mass one yeah? only one step understand uh, so remember uh, if the question give you the if the question give you um, you know uh, if the question give you the molar mass Uh, if the question give you molar mass the question give you molar mass you better off use the formula 3rt if the question give you the mass of one molecule you better off use the formula 3kt uh, it's uh, faster now um okay back to the question just now he says uh, same pre same temperature isn't it same temperature t1 equal to t2 so uh that's why the temperature is constant so at the top here 3rt is constant uh, this is a constant value this is a constant value uh, and then uh since it's a constant we can write like this vrms is proportional to one over uh square root don't forget the molar mass is inside a square root okay inside a square root so square root or molar mass okay uh, vrms is at the top molar mass is at the bottom so they're at the opposite side opposite side uh, this is important so when we write we want to write uh we want to co do comparison we want to do comparison uh this one is uh, actually simultaneous equation uh that means um this is like um you know we have equation here we have equation one uh okay so here here we have equation one you know equation one uh, and then here we have equation equation two what equation uh what is is this equation one equation two uh that means i use this equation i use this equation to build equation for hydrogen okay that one as equation one and then i use this formula again to build equation for nitrogen that is equation two then uh, to find this one i just take the uh yeah equation two i just take equation two uh divide by equation one and then i get this understand i get this uh anyway um uh, i just make a ratio you know uh, vrms is at the top molar mass is at the below okay i need to find vrms two isn't it I need to find VRMS2. Uh, so I, I start with VRMS2, VRMS2 divided by VRMS1. Okay. Uh, so look at this. If VRMS is at the top, molar mass will be at the below. 
So VRMS2 at the top. VRMS2 at the top. So molar mass will be at the below. You see that? Okay, maybe I should highlight. Yeah? Should highlight. Uh, you see that? Um, VRMS it, here. You see here this equation. VRMS is at the top. At the top, molar mass at the below. Okay. VRMS at the top, molar mass at the below. So when VRMS2 at the top, then VRMS2 at the top, uh, the molar mass will be at the below. You see that? Uh, molar mass will be at the below. So, so it's like a, uh, uh, I mean, crossover, you know, crossover. Uh, and then VRMS at one at the bottom, VRMS1 at the bottom, molar mass will be at the top. Uh, one at the bottom, one at the top, one at the top, one at the bottom, like that. Uh, okay, use another different color. Okay, I like different different color. So uh, if uh, VRMS one at the bottom, the molar mass will be at the top, like that. Understand? Uh, when VRMS at the top, molar mass at below. When VRMS at the bottom, molar mass at the top. Uh, because look from this equation. Uh, when VRMS is at the top, molar mass is below. Uh, so they are like uh, 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 opposite, yeah, opposite side. Uh, they are at the opposite side. Okay, so now we already have the equations. Uh, you know this uh, because temperature is constant. Because the temperature is constant, uh, so that's why three RT already gone. Uh, not in this equation. Why? Because when you divide using the simultaneous equation, the three RT already being cancelled off, already being cancelled off. So no more in this equation. Uh, what left is only the VRMS and molar mass. Uh, they are they are still there because their value changing. Yeah, not uh, not equal. Uh, so they cannot be cancelled off. The temperature is the same. So uh, temperature three RT is constant. So they can be cancelled off already. No? no more in the equation. Understand? Okay, now let us continue um, uh, yeah, solving the questions. So we just substitute the information we have. VRMS2, we want to find. Okay, we want to find VRMS2. Okay, let us write it down. VRMS2. Okay, I want to find VRMS2. VRMS1 is... Uh, what is VRMS1? VRMS1 is 1330. And then uh, square root, uh, we, we have the molar mass 1. Molar mass 1 is 2 exponent negative 3 uh, in kilogram. Yeah? Make sure already change to kilogram before we substitute. Okay, no, question normally give you gram. You must change to kilogram first before you substitute into equation. You must always change to SI unit first before you substitute. Yeah? Must change to SI unit first before you substitute. Okay, so uh, th that's it. Okay, I substitute all the molar mass for uh, the nitrogen. And uh, that's it. So let us uh, simplify. So this can be cancelled off. And then uh, what's the answer? I just want the answer. Okay, so what's the answer? So uh, VRMS2, okay, VRMS2, so the, uh, this one, 1330, just multiply to the top, and after calculation, I got uh, VRMS2, uh, 35.46 meter per second. Uh, this is the, uh, what the speed for? Nitrogen. This is the speed for the nitrogen. The VRM, the root mean square speed of nitrogen. That's it. Okay? Very simple. Just find the relationship. Find what is constant. The constant one is being cancelled. And then we do the simultaneous equation. And we will get the final answer. Okay? Uh, so if the question gives you uh, molar mass, if the question gives you molar mass, you use the formula 3RT. The question gives you mass of one molecule. You use the formula 3KT. Okay? So, thank you for watching. So, stay tuned for the next video.